Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here at the PGA Coaching Center at Second Swing's new fitting bay at PGA Frisco, joined by Mr. Mark Brooks, our good friend, 1996 PGA champion. Um, and this is going to be a fun one because I have here a Bellata Titleist Professional 90 golf ball, barely ever hit, Mark, and we're going to compare that to a modern Pro V1X ball. So, uh, Mark, obviously one of the most decorated PGA Tour careers, uh, famously 803 starts. So you've played with like all it. kinds of equipment over the years. So um, what do you think we're going to see in the differences between this ball and that one? Well, my guess is that old ball is going to launch lower. It should spin a little more. Uh, that ball was sort of a tweener ball between what we would consider the true, we call it liquid core wound, rubber yeah. wound bolatas. That ball came out about 1997. Yeah. And by 2002, everybody had switched to a solid core ball, ball for the most part. I mean, 98% mm -hmm. of the tour guys were playing a, a solid core ball or good players were for sure. Yeah, yeah. And so as as if you hear, you know, golf historians or, or golf geeks, uh, they talk a lot about how the 2000 and 2001 time frame is sort of when everything changed in golf equipment because of the new golf ball. So. What we're going to do today, we're going to hit seven irons, kind of compare the sure. difference in the performance there, and then we're going to bring out the, the driver. And Oof. we're going to hit driver. Oof. And uh, we, I know Mark feels pretty good about that already. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm loving that old driver. <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's start with the modern Pro V1X. Okay. So we got that there. Um, and then we'll hit a few shots, maybe get five good ones, and then we'll bring out the Bellata. We ready to go? Tour 90. We are ready to go. All right, well, we'll just generic seven iron. There's the little, my normal little draw. I'll try to get some of that out of there. Well, hey, your shot is your shot. If you play that, I know you like to play that little draw with the irons. Well, you know that old saying, swing your swing? Well, swing your swing if it's a good swing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I it's suppose. not a good swing, let's, yeah. sw let's swing somebody else's. <laughs> so, we'll wind up. Yeah. I've got, I got the chunks going on the mat this morning here. I mean, you, you're still hitting the ball pretty consistently, right? I do. My really maybe, good shot would go about 170. So carry. maybe a hair under your carry number? Yeah, my normal carry number with this would be okay. right at 170. There's your, I'll give you one. I'll go go ahead and fight it off. Give, let let Can it you go draw. after one? I'll let it draw. That sounded pretty crisp. Oh my. That's that's my normal shot. There the you go. Old, there's the big hook. <laughs> You're right about that. But that carry. That was a 175.8 carry. Yeah, squeeze another one out there. There you go. Oh yeah, we got up to 120 on the ball speed with that one. Some extra there's, spin. there's the carry. 170. There we go. All right, so that's that's up. that's my play shot. There's a 178 seven iron. So there's our six shots there. We've got all the numbers. Yeah, we. I would peel out some of those, but those last two or three were my normal. Those shot are your sure. swings. We're kind of getting a little bit loose. I'll maybe we can take out these first couple here, maybe. You know, I actually hit a couple of those a little heavy. So, yeah, let's go with that right there, huh? So if I try to not turn it over, it's going to fly usually about seventy to seventy-two. Okay. My turnover goes another five or six yards, and my cut peels about six to seven yards off. Right. Okay. So if I tried to hit a high cut, it would probably only fly about 165. Yeah. But it would land better. We, we talked yeah. about that before we got on. Right. I'd have a much steeper landing angle, Which a little you, higher I know speed you, rate. Yeah. That's tough. That's it's it's awesome hearing you know someone like you that's so dialed in and and you know as a former pro, I remember we talked about last time when we filmed videos was you're worried about the carry number and then you're worried about how the ball is going to react on the green. No doubt. More, way is, more than total or anything else. Hundred percent. Total is meaningless until you get to. Pretty much till you get to the driver, maybe three wood a little bit, yeah. but for, certainly the driver's the only one we want to see run yeah. out a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, right here, you're you're you got your landing angle well over 45 on on kind of your your better swings there, and then you were kind of peeling that draw that brought it back a little bit down, but um, still pretty good well, stuff. That's the back pins. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. We got the pin in the back of the green. That's right. Um, okay. Let's get out the Bellata here for the Titleist Pro 90. Can give that a feel there and. Which I would have played the Pro 90. You would have? For sure. I wouldn't have played the 100. Okay. 
So let me make a tag here. It's been a while since I hit one of these. I'll go with that same shot we just finished with. Wow. Marshmallow. Marshmallow? Yeah. I tried to go for the same shot. Got some more spin on it. Not as much as I thought. Yeah. Land angle went up. Look, I 170. Pretty good. That was about 78 before. Okay. So that lost about eight yards of carry. Is that, actually, I hit that. That might have been the best one I've hit today. Yeah, that was a really good ball. For, for a you know, hard draw. Actually, it didn't curve as much as I thought. There we go. Same shot. Not as good. It's still up there. Interesting, though, that it's so... I'm, I'm, what I'm curious to see here, once we um, kind of get a bunch of numbers, is going to be, you mentioned the launch, too. The launch would be different between the two balls. I was expecting it to be. Yeah. The ball just sounds different, too. It's way softer feeling. Yeah. I mean, you said right away marshmallow, you know? No offense to anyone or Titleist or whoever. <laughs> this is a Titleist? Yeah. Yeah. It's going way better. It feels like I'm hitting a practice ball. <laughs> yeah. It feels like I'm actually hitting a, a plastic, dis you know, distance limited practice ball. Sure, yeah. Ball. One you could hit in your house. <laughs> I know exactly the balls you're talking about. Those kind of foamy ones. That's a, actually that was one of my better swings. That is a really good swing there. Spin rate didn't change near as what I thought. Yeah, near, you're, it's near actually kind of staying pretty similar. I know you mentioned, we talked a little bit kind of off camera about some of the differences that might happen. Um, curious, like I really wonder with driver what the big numbers are gonna be, the differences happen there I would suspect I'll be wrong I'll try to take a little draw out of this one go for a little more straight I pushed it as usual oh, yeah. didn't curve as much okay there there your there your disc yardage came down yeah Let's see here. Let's bring up some numbers. All right. Let's see. We we've got our sort of averages up there now. And I'm, uh, this is interesting. This, these are pretty close, actually. We obviously got more spin with the uh, older ball, which w was what you expected. Ball but, speed's down. Yeah, ball speed's down as well. Heights down, launch angle stayed very constant. Yep. Wow, I'm kind of fascinated by that because we got it. It's pretty. It's kind of close across the board up there, with the exception of the spin, and then the ball speed difference as well. Are really the two things because it is worth noting too. You actually swung a little bit faster with the Pro 90, but your ball speed is is lower. So. Well, that more would make efficient. sense. That would make sense. Yeah, so more efficient with the Pro V1X there. Well, clearly, if I stayed with the same shot pattern and it hit them decent, it looked like to me it was going to run about eight yards. Yeah. Shorter carry with the old right, one. Right, sure, yeah. And I can actually Which bring is up almost a club. It, well, I mean, I remember 178-ish was where my good ones were with the new ball. These were going, I didn't hit one ball over 170 with this one yet. Mm. So yeah. I, can, I can give it a go. I'll squeeze one out. Okay. See if I can max out one. Ooh, maxing one out. Ooh, got some extra ball speed there too. I got to go 73. You did. Okay. That's pretty good. I was That's shocked. Pretty That's pretty good. That's shocking. You ever hit that uh ball 170 through the seven iron before? No, and, and I did make the point when we started. This this professional was definitely in in their mind an upgraded ball. Yeah. From the let's just say 95 or six and, and earlier. Yeah. This ball, because I remember this ball qu quite well. This was one of the first balls I had trouble stopping on greens. Yeah. But it was awesome off the tee. Yeah. In comparison, okay. it was a definite upgrade. So this ball started the trend for high speed guys to have a piece of product in their hands. They can control the spin button. Mm. Yeah. No doubt. Got it. Yeah. So here's our, so I took out, so what happened was I took out the one before this. That the you 161? Yeah, Perfect. the 161. 
So this is what the adjusted numbers are. Um, still the difference in spin is definitely there. Not as much as I thought. But not as much. Um, the launch is a little bit more of a, of a difference there, right? A degree. Which um, is quite a bit, as yeah. you and I know. One degree is, yeah. can be a big deal for mm -hmm. some players. Right, yeah, absolutely. And then landing angle more, actually a little bit more shallow with the Pro 90. Um, so those are, those are our numbers for the seven iron at least. And, and as we, we observed, the, the good busted one for me was about eight yards shorter with the yeah. old ball. Yeah. There's no, you know, I go, I, I could not hit this ball 180 yards in the air. And I could probably take that up, that new ball and squeeze st stuff in the low 180s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not I as see. effective a shot, but I'm just saying if you're just trying to go raw, raw right. carry, so, I so, can make that happen. Yeah. In, in most senses, it's probably maybe five yard difference to seven yard difference. Probably that's probably about right. Probably. Half okay. a club. Okay. Well, so, what, how about that difference with driver Hi hypothesis here? We take it's got to be what everybody's talking about. It's got to be the 20 yards. You think so? Yeah, it's got to be. Let's see it. All right. Let's find out. Let's, let's do it. All right. So now we've got the driver from the 1996 <laughs> PGA Championship. I don't like this driver as much <laughs> as I did in 96. <laughs> I'll assure you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably be better suited to hit this ball maybe than, than a modern driver, right? Or no? Well, we're going to find out. Okay. This, this literally does need to go back back on the wall. So. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we brought it out today because it's, it's kind of a Are cool piece of history. Are we ready to go? History. Oh, yeah. We're good. I don't even know where to begin here. And I find myself trying to be careful with this thing, too. The head looks so small. <laughs> right? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. They're going to fly all over the place. That's fine. So are my drives. <laughs> There was some better contact. I still drew. Drew. <laughs> oh, there's some speed. There it is. So when you were playing, right, back in the you know, 90s, winning majors, things like that with this driver and a lot of golf ball, was that the type of shot you'd hit most of the time? Well, one of the, you know, again, re recalling, I tried not to draw this club much. It probably is one another reason I probably had a pretty good start, pretty good run with this driver, because I figured out pretty quickly if I if I turned this driver over much, I actually lost too much spin. Right. So I pretty much limited myself on a, I mean, like let's have two or three of these a day, on the hole that needs it. You know, like say a par five, or if you really got one out there, you might be able to reach in, in two. So I played a. I honestly play just a little left to right slider with this a lot, you know, which sounds nuts. Everybody thinks mm. I hooked it. But I mean, clearly, just from these, that spin rate's pretty low for this old yeah. ball. Right, yeah. For so a, I try not that to, with that. Yeah, I try not to curve this ball, this driver much. Which was good for my swing because it kept me from swinging too far to the right. Look at that there's, one. There's the straight one. That's dead straight. How about that? So pass still a little to the right. Yeah. Up three, not bad. So that was kind of the, you know, I didn't curve it a lot with this driver. Sure. And again, I mean, even back then I, I had through trial and error, no, no, no machine readings. Yeah. Just, you know, we were pretty good out there. You know, we're kind of like walking track men after a while. Right. And um, I had learned, you know, hey, limit your draws. Yeah. So I really had to, you know, gear up and make really good contact. But again, it was better for my swing to swing a little more, you know, let's call it left. That one's not, that's a little healer. All right, let's give it one more. And then one we'll, more, go. Let's, right. Then we'll switch. We'll see how that, you want to see how that hits with a modern ball quick? Another couple? Absolutely. That driver, and then we'll go to your, your gamer driver. Ooh, it's coming out of my hands. Okay, there's a the thirty year old grip is slipping, <laughs> but there's your what two thirty six. There it is. You got you said you were gonna get to two forty and you got pretty close. Okay. All right, so here's the uh, Pro V One X. Oh, good good toss. And here's our numbers too, just for what it's worth. You hit that one on average. Um, two thirty carry roughly. Yeah, about two twenty eight point eight, two fifty five total. So. All right, this will be fascinating. You ready to go? I'm ready. 
Well, and you, uh, again, there's another, that ball clearly curved to the right, and that was my longest carry. So I probably figured that out in 96. My, <laughs> right. My left to right sliders actually carried further than my hooks. Wow, that was a good ball. I probably have this club out of position too, as far as where I, where I have it in my stance because it's it feels like it's four inches shorter. I probably got it still pretty far up there. I'll creep one back, a little straighter. Oh yeah. There goes the, the spin back down a little bit. Probably lost 400. Oh yeah, at least. I launch low spin. Got another degree out of it. There's a better launch. Mm -hmm. And again, when the when the hook spin comes off, my ball carries better. You, you can see that. Ball yeah. stayed to the right, but carried a little better. There we go. Got the launch over 12. I can't hit it 240. One more? Try one more to get it to 240. Then we'll bring out the big stick, the bigger stick. I lost the club in my hand. <laughs> I got your 42 though. There you go. There's your 43. 242. Wow. Do you see how I did that though, right? Check your launch number. I, I see that. 16. That's how I got the carry. Mark Brooks knows what he's talking about. Not that's a surprise, but so I got all these numbers up here. This is the one right here we're talking, we're highlighting here. So yeah, launch at 16.1. The rest of them were down 12, 12, 12, 11. And then you see the carry go way up. So that's kind of, I mean, that's, 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 that's what makes it happen. That still happens today for the most part. Yeah. For with driver and you're hitting it well. Provided you can control your spin rate. That's what you, you know, high launch, low spin. Yeah. That's what we want. Interesting. Yeah. So here are the averages then of sort of the, you know, we hit the big Bertha with each ball and you're hitting a little bit further with the Pro V1X. Um, the spin was actually relatively comparable there. It is. Granted, we had some. I don't know if tracking was picking everything up. No, perfectly, I had some bad golf swings in there. But, but all right, let's get let's grab your your G430 Max 10K and hit that a little bit. All right, the the gamer, the Mac, the G430 Max 10K now. Let's see what Mark Brooks has in the tank. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> you got me nervous here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a little further from the ball. A little sound difference. Yeah, just a tad. Okay. And immediately we're at 260 carry. And I think, I can't remember. 242 was the max. Was the max with the... Yeah, we could have round, rounded it to 243. Yeah. That was the last one I hit. So how many yards? Simple math. I mean, we got... 20 yards. Right here is, you know, we had 18 yards in carry, and then obviously the total similar, but that was, it's just one swing and it's uh, there's already a big difference. Wow. Mark, do you have 300 yards in you total? Sure. <laughs> We're at 296. <laughs> okay. So nine degree that my big Bertha was about eight and a quarter. Right. At 43 and a half ish. Roughly nine degrees yeah. at 45 and a half. So I got a couple inches on shaft, but what I, the thing that strikes me is this launch for yeah. one. This spin rate's actually a little low on that one, but it's, it, it was launched high Does enough. the trick. It made, yeah, it made up for it. Not as good a swing, but it still carry 261. That's, that's still pretty darn good for me. That's pretty darn good. All right. That was three, 60, 66, 60, so. That's uh, all right. Two sixty two. We try this average. thing now. Let's have it. Let's get three with that one. Okay. Then we'll have all these numbers to look at. Nerd over a little bit. A 
a little more of a dip in ball speed. Actually kind of flew out there a little bit. There's some speed, all right. I'm kind of I mean, that's a pretty good shot. You got, your carry is actually keeping up pretty nicely. About 10 yards. Yeah. We're probably in the 10 to, you know, I guess you were, you got up to like 266 on one of your other balls, but. I did. I, was... I want to say that was one of the carries. So you're probably about 10 to 15 yard difference-ish. You know, we guess, I guessed 20. You did, yeah. So I, you got, you asked, you bugged me. I was uh, 296 total out on a couple on the one. Yeah, earlier. you did. Yeah. It's uh. 23 yards. Let's get one more good one here. All right, go for it. Par five, downwind. Oh, yeah. It's the fastest ball speed so far with that ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, 103. There we go. Look at this. All right, so here That's we go. It. That's the best I got. That's the best Mark has, and we saved it for last. Today. Oh. And I was telling you, Drew, the best I do is about 105 now. Is it? Okay. So that's not terrible. That's for still me. really good. I mean, okay. hey. For an 83 year old, yeah. it's not bad. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so the carry average with the Pro 90, actually, you hit it pretty well there. That last one, you hit 258 carry. So we got about eight yards difference on those three with each, right? Correct. 254, 262. That's pretty solid. It kept, kept up really well. 12 yard difference in total. We just saw some more spin with the Pro 90, which is to be expected. To be expected, correct. Um, God, there's a lot of a lot of stuff up here that's just fascinating. Is there anything else that's jumping out at you, Mark, that you're looking at here? Not a whole lot, other than you know, the, clearly the best one I hit with the old driver, for example. Yeah, was a higher launch. Yeah, right. So if you're gonna like emphasize something, that's this one. And here. we all know this. I mean, I have to throw my tip in there. The slower your club head speed is, the slower you hit. Generally speaking, you're gonna have to hit the ball more up in the air. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. the super, the, the more speed you have, the lower you can actually launch it. So that's the thing yeah. I take away. I mean, my good ones are all running in that 15, 16 yeah. launch, which is pretty high, but uh, yeah, this that's, is where that I max, shot. that's where I max out distance. This is that shot you're talking about of, you know, hitting the old driver and new you, hit, ball. you got up to 16 launch. And this is the best one that you hit 273 with that old driver. That's the best pretty darn good. Not that's bad. pretty darn good. Uh, but clearly there's a different. But look at the club head speed. Yeah, that's a good point. There's too. the jump out. 98.7. Yeah, that was actually, 100 it's fun, fun to look back at that stuff because if we go and collapse everything, this is the new driver up here, 101, 702. And then down here, we were looking at 98. And then, uh, so probably about a two, well, three to four miles an hour club head speed difference. So my conclusion at this point is this matters a lot. Yeah, I think you're the, right about the, that. The club is clearly responsible for a lot. I know we run around going, it's ball, 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 ball. Man, the club's a big deal. Yeah. And uh, they, they, so you put the two together, you get optim optimized. Yeah. For example, you wouldn't have me in that eight and a quarter degree right. if we had to go back to that driver. You'd Correct. probably have me in an 11, yeah. 10, five. Because uh, you, you were I, really emphasizing that launch. Correct. Right? You'd also have me in not a 100 gram shaft. <laughs> right. And you go, we could probably take that old driver or something like that with more loft, those lighter shaft in there, and probably creep even closer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Creep even you closer. Could. So yeah. it's pretty. It's very cool. Uh, but this has been fascinating, uh, just to see the differences a little bit, and, and then to watch you just kind of, you know, kind of geek out and just hit some shots and look at all the numbers. That's it, fascinating. It's so. fun. I love it. And, th and that's the beauty of the machines. They're just they're such good feedback and, yeah. and it's accurate. So it's, yeah. a, it's a blast to get on there. Yeah, well, Mark, thank you for joining today. This is fascinating. I know the viewers are gonna love this and seeing all the numbers and old golf ball, new golf ball, old driver, for new sure. driver. Um, really good stuff. Thank you, Mark, for joining. And, oh, it was um, a blast. Awesome. We'll do it again.